All right, we're going to go ahead and pick up with the external routing for the management tenant for the in-band management IPs we just set up. So again, we're in tenants. Of course, we're in the management tenant. And we're going to go ahead and start under networking with the external router network. And just use this little wizard magic here. We're going to do OSPF. I've already got my 3560 set up, area 1 and SSA. We're going to send the fabric default route, so nice and simple. And we will go ahead and call this INB. IP mount. I should really just click ahead and call it SPF mount just to be a little more specific. Click it to the in band private network and we're going to go ahead and create a layer 3 domain on the outside. Click it to our in band ADP. This is going to be the INB 03 mount. Okay. We'll do the rest of this uh, by hand here. So we don't need to do any of that. That'll just kind of create the overall container for all of the L3 out stuff. So under we get to create a node profile. This is basically like the router information. And then we drill down a little bit more and it'll get into the interface specific stuff. So our node profile, just do INB. Typing is so hard. I'm trying to keep my naming consistent, but I'm not the best at it. Um, so for nodes, this is on node 102. We're going to go ahead and give it a router ID out of my pool that I've allocated for that. And we'll go ahead and finish that. So that basically says, hey, node 102, here's your router ID. You're going to do some routing. Then we got to go ahead and configure the actual logical interface, just like we would on a real router. And this is going to be INB. SPF into profile. And we're not going to do any authentication because this is just for uh, the lab, you know, it's not a big, no big deal. Uh, and we are going to use a routed interface, so we got to go ahead and configure that, of course. And this is on 102 port 48. Uh, we'll go ahead and hard code 1500 MTU there. And we've got to give an IP, of course, 255.253.6 30. So that's actually configuring, of course, the IP address. And then since it's OSPF, we've got MTU stuff to consider. We're just going to go ahead and hard code it to 1500 so we don't have to do MTU ignore or anything like that, although we can. And if we go ahead and look here, um, this is, I guess I didn't delete this before when I, before I made the video, but we're just going to go ahead and use it again. Um, in band OSPF, I'm just going to use point to point. It comes up faster. Uh, TAC guy said go ahead and do MTU ignore pretty much all the time since there's some bugs surrounding that. So we'll just go ahead and leave that checked. It's been anything. So we already did it. It's cool. And then we're going to jump down to the networks, create an external network. And this is going to be, oh, not typing. And again, this is really route filtering more than anything else. And this is also where the contracts are going to get attached to the external EPG. So we're just going to accept everything just to keep it nice and simple. And go to this guy. So there we are accepting everything. Contracts is under the policy kind of hidden right there. And this guy is going to consume default. And again, I'm just using default because I'm being lazy and it's a lab. I just want to permit anything. So that should be everything we need on that front. And then we got to go ahead up to the bridge domain. And we need to associate an L3 out. So we've got our OSPF out profile, so we'll submit that. And also, we're going to have to do some subnet stuff here, but let's go ahead and see if our neighbors come up. Let's get that too. Interface is up, so I'm just going to do that 33.6. So let's hop back into our external routed config here. We can look for some faults. A good place to start. So this one's already cleared, so we'll ignore that. This is a, <laughs> I get this one on like all of the L3 outs. So we've got a TAC case open to figure out if it's a bug or if there's a misconfig. So we're just gonna go ahead and ignore that one for now. Let's just go ahead and look at our interface profile. Check my notes here, make sure I'm on the right guy. 255, 253.6 on 148. 
So I've got CDP enabled on that profile. Uh, we do that. We might not. Okay. So it says connected. Just make sure I didn't default to single face on here. Let me make sure we can clear up. We should be. That's good. Still no dragon. So we can go ahead and look at fabric inventory. So just if you just want to look at like basic interface stuff, this is where you'd kind of want to be doing it. Um, so we're just kind of pop our head here. 148 saying we're up one gig. Uh, D97, I'm not sure why that's that. It's probably just some internal stuff. Um, that's looking okay. Let me go back and check our access policies too to make sure we didn't monkey anything up. 102 associated to our L3 out. That's cool. Select the port 48 using this policy group. Update it to enable CDP too so we can get a little bit more verification info there. Get back to our tenant. We'll look at the top level. Still just that one fault, so that seems okay. Let's see if we start getting CDP. I'm sure we do. So we are actually in the right port. That seems like a good place to start. Getting networking. Let's see if it's seeing the right IP there. So this is the L3 out for the my normal tenant. Uh, so you can see we are actually seeing the right IP. So clearly I've got something monkeyed up because we're not seeing the appropriate IPs. We are seeing the management IP, which is cool, I guess. And 255, 253.6, WAG 30. That all looks happy. Not seeing anything. Okay, not done. That's weird. Click one. The only thing I was going to do that I, we haven't done so far, I think, on my list was to add the subnet, but that's obviously not going to force OSPF to come up. So. We clearly got something up else messed up here. We got a fault over here. So it's just that auto fault that we've been it's been plaguing me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video, then I'll figure out what's broken, and then I'll pick it up on a final part and we'll start verifying everything.